Hi, future Riverside students. My name is Miss Williamson, and I will be your counselor next school year. We're very excited to transition the fifth grade students to sixth grade uh, for the 2021-2022 school year. It's a little different this time with this recorded um, Google Meet, um, but we'll also have some live Google Meets and also some live Zoom meetings for you and your parents to ask any kind of questions you may have. So this first one is just really to introduce you to me, your counselor, but also for me to tell you the, just a brief overview of what's different between elementary and middle school. You're also going to have the opportunity to meet some of your future teachers next year. These are going to be the elective school teachers that will make an appearance on this video. So big difference between elementary and middle school here in Fort Worth ISD is the start and stop time. You're going to get to sleep in a little bit more. Our start time is 910 and our stop time is 430. Uh, that's a big difference. The other thing is how many class periods your day is divided into. Um, here at middle school, you have seven class periods. That means your day is divided into seven different class periods that are about 45 minutes each. Um, each class period is taught by a different teacher. And then you have about five minutes in between each period. Of course, you also have lunch. Uh, so out of those seven class periods, five of those class periods are considered required classes. So you don't really have a choice on those. Um, you have taken all five of these classes since um, you first started school, and you're going to continue to take these five classes all the way until you graduate. So the first class that you're probably familiar with is English language arts, which is reading and writing. Next one is math then science and social studies. So you will take those four classes. That will be four of your class periods. Your fifth class period that everybody has to take is moving to wellness. That's gonna be a combination of PE and health. One week is gonna be PE and the next week is gonna be health. Um, and you'll get to meet those teachers on this video too. So then you have two classes left over, two class periods left over. Those are called your elective choices. So you get to choose two of your class periods. Um, some of the classes do fill up. So I'm gonna ask you to choose your first choice, second choice, and third choice, just in case one of your top two choices fills up, I'll know what to put you in. After this video, after you get to meet the teachers who teach these electives, I will give you access to the Google Classroom um, and also access to the Google Form that you will complete to choose your first, second, and third choice electives with your parents. So that is to come. Um, so without any further ado, I want you to learn a little bit about the different electives we have to offer here at Riverside Middle School. We have a lot of choices. We've got art, band, choir, avid, JCC, orchestra, mariachi, um, exploring languages, computer. Hopefully I covered them all. Um, but we have a lot of elective choices here at Riverside Middle School, and you'll be able to choose two of those and then have an alternate choice for the third. Uh, I look forward to meeting with you very soon. The next Google Meet, it won't just be me. Um, you'll also get to meet your assistant principal. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ms. Branson. I am the art teacher for sixth grade at Riverside Middle School, and I would like to encourage anyone who loves to draw or create or make things to sign up for art next year. We, love, we do painting and drawing and clay and lots of fun things. So hope to see you next year. Hi guys, Ms. Allen here from Riverside Middle School. I am the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade AVID teacher. AVID stands for Advanced Via Individual Determination. In this class, we do tutorials, field trips, Socratic seminars, philosophical chairs, and a whole lot more. When we go to colleges, we go to colleges like TCU, Baylor, Texas Tech, Rice University, Southern, and many more. In this class, once you enter it, you're in it from the sixth grade all the way to your senior year of high school. So this class is set to prepare you to go off to college. I'm aware not all students are going to college, 
But if you don't, I'm still here to prepare you to be successful in a global society. So you want to be an avid? Come on. Sign up, and I look forward to seeing you. Bye. One of your options for electives here at Riverside is choir, and this would be your teacher, Miss Rogers. Miss Rogers, can you tell us a little bit about choir? Our choir is for all grade levels. We have sixth grade choirs. We have our second period, which is seventh and eighth grade girls. We have a seventh and eighth grade boys class. We learn lots of different songs. We learn our hand signs. We learn solfege. We learn how to read, yeah, read music from sides, and uh, we have a good time, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, can we hear a little bit of their singing? Yes. Let's do a scale. Hand signs, please. Hello, fifth grade students. My name is Mr. Carpell, and I am the sixth grade CTE teacher here at Riverside Middle School. What is CTE? Well, CTE is short for computer technology. Things you get to learn in my class are all about Google Suites, such as slides, forms, sheets, documents, and many other things regarding Google. Another fun thing you get to do is Microsoft Office products, such as Word, Excel, Office, Outlook, PowerPoint, and email etiquette. One of the fun things you get to do in my class is coding. Using a variety of programs, you'll get to code music, games, videos, and many other things with coding. Technology is constantly improving and it's all part of your learning process. I look forward to having you in my class next year. Have a great fifth grade year and we'll see you then. See you soon. Uh, ci vediamo. Ci vediamo. I'll see you. I'll see you. Now, if you plan to see the person the next day, you can say, Adomani. Adomani. And that means what? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Great. Hello and welcome to JCC. My name is Master Sergeant Holder, JCC instructor at Riverside Middle School. In JCC, you have an opportunity to participate in your education where you learn values and skills to help you become a better citizen. In JCC, we have a uniform requirement in JCC. Students wear the gray polo shirt, black pants, black belt, and you'll be required to wear a pair of black shoes. Okay. So in JCC, uh, lately we've been studying about map reading. We study about help you become a better citizen, be disciplined. Okay. These are some of my students in JCC. Okay. Uh, Cadet Ortiz, what's some of the things you learn in JCC? Uh, you learn leadership. Leadership. Cadet Ardell, what do you learn in JCC? Respect people. Respect. All right, so class, overall, do you think JCC is a good fit for other students to come in into this class? Yeah. Cadet, attention. Cadet Ortiz, what's some of the
about face. About face. Present arms. Present arms. Order arms. What's up guys, it's Coach Phillips here. This is Coach Harris. And we are your Moving to Wellness teachers for next year. Woo. So basically what our class consists of is one week you're gonna be in our PE class, which is gonna be in the inside gym. And the other week you're gonna be in the health classroom, which is our portables. So during health, you're gonna learn about physical fitness, violence, um, violence injury and prevention, emotional health, and much more. Yes, and you're also doing your next week, which would be uh, PE, which is physical education. You'll be learning how to play team sports, such as soccer, badminton, flag football, and more. So we're excited for you guys, and we can't wait to see you next year in the sixth woo! grade. So, go Eagles! Go Eagles, go. Woo, woo! Hello, I'm Ms. Cortez. I'm the head orchestra director at Riverside Middle School. Um, orchestra consists of four very different instruments. Each instrument is very unique and is essential to the orchestra ensemble and sound. Um, on a typical, uh, normal school year, um, we do a lot of um, events like game night, movie night. We also have a few concerts every year and we even go on a few field trips. Uh, we go to Six Flags, uh, and we also call we also go to something called UIL, which is a contest where we play in front of a panel of judges. And um, if we do really well, we walk home with a trophy. So, if you are interested in music, or um, if you're interested in playing an instrument, uh, I recommend joining orchestra. It's really fun and it's a great opportunity to become a great musician and also a good opportunity to make friends and create awesome memories. So if you're interested in joining orchestra, make sure you enroll for the next school year. Thanks and have a good day. Smile with your eyes. So now that you've learned a little bit more about these nine elective classes offered at Riverside Middle School, you've got some homework. Your homework is to go home, speak with your family about the nine different classes. Hopefully you can name those nine different elective classes and describe them to your family. Let your family know which three are your top three that you'd like to learn more about. Um, by next week, we're going to have another Google Meet meeting, but this one's going to be live um, where I'll get to speak with you and hopefully our assistant principal will too. After that meeting, you will have access to our Google Classroom and our Google Form. The Google Form is going to be where you will identify your first choice, second choice, and third choice for electives. If you remember, you only have seven class periods and five are mandatory, so those leaves, that leaves two. However, I'm asking you to identify three, just in case one of them fills up, I'll know where to put you. So speaking of our Google Classroom, if you have access to your Google Classroom app right now, you can add in our classroom. The classroom is called RMS Future Sixth Grade Students, and the code is ED5 I X X J. Again, that's E D five I X X 
J. We're going to put that up on the screen and we'll leave it there for about a minute. If you do not have access to your Google Classroom app right now, don't worry about it. Just write down the code so you can add that in as soon as you do have access. Um, please make sure to add in the Google Classroom so if we hold the meeting through Google Meet next week, you'll have access to it. And also you're gonna have access to additional information and recording meetings we post. Um, I look forward to meeting with you again next week. Bye.